So you've got a Muse Hobby Laser and you can't figure out how to get one of the coolest features to work, which is the bed camera here. Being able to move your objects on the screen magically and put them over your workpiece so you don't have to align it. Well, if you're running into trouble, you're probably doing it wrong, just like I was at first. Now there's two ways of doing it. You can either jog or you can unlock and move it over top of your workpiece somewhere. Go ahead and focus it now because it's going to ask you for it in a moment. Once you lock that gantry back up, it's going to run back to some point it knows and then back over to where you left it. Coming back over to software, let's take a picture, right? This is what it's asking us for, telling you to focus. We'll click new height measurement. Oh, what happened? It moved away. It turned the lights off in the bed. It fired a red laser and it moved back over that spot to get our height measurement. Now we can click continue and our camera is going to begin working its nine segments and start to stitch this image together. I'm going to pause and show you the result. All right, sorry for the glare. Here's the tail end of those nine images being stitched together. Here we go. So this is where my image was in so or my uh, my work to be done is in software. Here's my actual work piece. That red dot is the position of the laser where I positioned it. From here, I will just put it where I want it. We've got green bars around the side. By the way, if you show a red bar here and you go to hit run job, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna say, oh no, please restart the unit. No, don't do that, don't do that. They don't explain it well enough. In fact, they don't explain it at all. All that really means is you've run off the edge of the table, the bed or the workpiece. So as long as you have two greens on either side, you're good to go. Now I can run the job.